All right, so today we are gonna be showcasing the brand new Fizz LR Metal Cooler at both 55% and also 69% in the hidden potential system. The event we're running is Wicked Bloodline Extreme Super Battle Road. And here's a quick look at our team. We got the double Metal Cooler leads along with the LR Final Form Cooler, the newly Extremes Awakened AGL Metal Cooler, LR Full Power Frieza, Tech Transforming Frieza, and lastly, the Int Final Form Frieza. So on this first rotation, we have my cooler, which is at 55%, and he's starting with 194,000 defense, which is um, not the greatest. I gotta be honest, it's not that good, but keep in mind that he doesn't have big bad bosses activated, and he also hasn't built up his passive at all. So once his passive is fully built up, he should be around 300k, which is better, but still not amazing. And with big bad bosses, he should be around like 350 or so, right? So um, I definitely need to get his links maxed out. But for now, this is what we got because I just didn't have enough time. And uh, usually I would start these runs on Extreme Super Battle Road by popping an item like a Whis or Icarus, but... I kind of want to see how much damage you take here, so no items, let's just go for the King Vegeta here, and uh, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes, alright, here we go, show me what you got guys, show me what you got, okay, so, I was just gonna say that the first attack wasn't too bad. <laughs> I was gonna be like, yo, we only took 29k on Extreme Super Battle Road with no items, and then we took 200k from a normal, and then we just died to a super. So the super was not too surprising. I knew that if we got supered, we would die. That was a guarantee, right? So there you have it. Type disadvantage against the Bardock, 650k, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter because we got the revival skill. We're right back with full HP, and now I do feel like we should probably pop an item here <laughs> because we can't use a second revival skill. So let's go for an Icarus now. And this is the friend at 69%, so he has 199k defense. And, um, yeah, let's keep going for King Vegeta, obviously, because of the type advantage. And I'm gonna try to kill him with the full power Frieza, although it might have made more sense to actually go for Bardock, now that I think about it. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I kind of want to keep one of them alive, right, until the next rotation, because at that time, we can pop the active skill for the uh, Metal Cooler that just got the Revival skill. So, yeah, hopefully one of these guys stays alive. Although it's not looking promising. Because I feel like this cooler might kill King Vegeta and then the Full Power Frieza might kill. Oh, never mind, we're good, we're good. So yeah, we'll kill King Vegeta here, but please leave the Bardock alive. <laughs> we need to keep Bardock alive. He's alive, perfect. It all worked out. So now we're gonna pop that active skill, see how much damage we do there, and then move on to the next fight. But yeah, we took a lot more damage from that normal attack than I was expecting. I know it's extreme super battle road. I know it's like no items and all that stuff, but, but still, 200K from normal. Okay, so let me just make sure I didn't turn off. I did turn off active skills, so let's do that and here we go. Yo guys, I love this animation. This is easily in my like top three favorite active skill animations now. I don't know exactly where it ranks, but it's it's up there guys. It is up there for sure. Okay, so not a ton of damage. Not a ton of damage, but that's okay. Not a huge deal. And we did take at least two hits, I think, or three hits. We took three hits. So the passive is not maxed out yet, but it's 
three quarters maxed out, right? 75% there. And as you can see, the defense got a lot better. 329k. And this is still without big bad bosses, right? Because we're at full HP. So no big bad bosses. With big bad bosses, it would be probably closer to 400k, I would say, right? So yeah, we need to max out that link as quickly as possible. That's for sure. And uh, also the tanking got much, much better. Wait, do we still have the Icarus active? I'm not sure, actually. We might, we might have Icarus active, in which case <laughs> it's a lot less impressive. But nonetheless, nonetheless, um, he does become a much better tank after you super, especially if you can get like a double super with the additional. So I actually kind of feel like additionals might be better for this guy because you want to get that double super as much as possible. And also, instead of attack, which is what I gave my uh, cooler with the skill orbs, I think defense definitely is a better, better choice. It's a better move because even though there's a lot to like about this unit, you know, from a healing perspective, he is one of the best healers in the game, that's for sure. And also the active skill, or rather the revival skill, is incredible. But he does take a lot of damage, guys. He does take a lot of damage. So I think giving him as much defense as possible is, is kind of the way to go, in my opinion. Okay, so let's go for Goku here. We're not going to use an item because I don't think we need one. And even if we get killed, once again, we have that revival skill, right? So it should be okay. It should be okay. We'll see, though. Okay, so 177k. <laughs> it's dropping, though, because, of course, we are building that defense. 8.1 mil. Looking good. That's some good damage right there. That's some very good damage right there. And we can't quite kill the Goku. This additional should do the trick, though. And then I don't have to worry about Goku against the full power Frieza. Because I was concerned that if he supered full power Frieza, that would have killed us. Well, this will kill Goku either way. And then we only have a uh, STR attacks after that, I think. I think it's just the STR Vegeta attacking us after, which is not really a concern. Oh wait, no, we still have Nappa. Thankfully, Nappa didn't super us, because I think that would have worked out really, really bad for us. That probably would have killed us. Okay, so, solid turn. Let me see how much we heal back by... Dude, we went from like... Dude, we went from like 30 to 40% HP back to almost 80%, so we healed essentially between 35 to 40 percent hp right there that's really good <laughs> that's really really good so yeah great healing as expected um i think maybe an item here would be the smart move just because of all those attacks in the middle so yeah let's do i'm trying to think yeah let's do final form cooler in the first slot i'm gonna pop an icarus and then we'll go for Vegeta. And let's attack Nappa with the, with the Metal Cooler. 209k defense, not too bad. And then we'll hopefully finish off Nappa with the Tech Frieza. But yeah, I don't want to really risk it here because the main problem with... Uh, well, one of the problems, one of the problems with the Metal Cooler is that... While it's awesome, there's no condition to his revival. Uh, he's the only one that can get the revival, you know, compared to like other units where there might be some condition to activate it, like you might need to take seven hits or whatever, but you know, anybody on the rotation can die and he still will revive. But with Cooler, that's not the case. With Cooler, if you take a super attack, with Metal Cooler on rotation, but it's somebody else that dies, then he don't revive. You know what I mean? So, yeah, when that happens, it really, really sucks. And, you know, I just don't, I just don't want to deal with that. So, popping the item was definitely a smart move, although we wouldn't really have died. But if we had gotten supered in the first slot, that would have been a bad time. So, I, I still think we made the right choice. And now... 
now we should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna go with that for the Metal Cooler, 335k defense, not too shabby. And either way, that full power freeze of super will finish off Raditz if the Metal Cooler can't do it. But I feel like he has a good chance. I mean, 7.4 mil attack. That's some good damage. That's some good damage. Uh, so close. So close. Okay. Um, wait, did my music stop? Hold on. Okay, we're going to play... Let's play the LR Final Form Cooler. Active skill soundtrack. There we go. Okay, so... Now we got one more fight. So far, I would say Cooler has looked solid, especially from a healing perspective and from a revival skill perspective. Obviously, he's been reviving us really well, but I got to be honest, guys, his defense is definitely not what I was hoping for. You know, when I first saw the details, I thought he would get a lot more defense than he actually does. And even though he's getting over 300k, maybe with big bad bosses over 400k um it still doesn't feel like it's quite enough for the difficulty of the newer events that are coming out these days you know so yeah i got i got some you know positives and negative takeaways from this showcase and just from my general experience so far on like other events i would say he is really really good hold on let me just think about how i want to play this right now uh, I'm gonna go for a Whis. I'm gonna go for a Whis. Yeah, I would say he's really, really good, but he has his deficiencies. You know, he's not a perfect unit, which I wasn't expecting, right? Nobody was expecting the unit to be perfect. I'm just saying that I was kind of hoping his defense would be more substantial. And it's not as substantial <laughs> as I was hoping for, but the fact that you are able to stay alive really well with the revival skill, the fact that you're able to heal back a ton with the, uh, you know, just healing on his passive on uh, beginning of the turn as well as end of the turn after you take a hit. And uh, his damage also is actually a lot better than I was expecting too. I thought his damage would be lower just because of all the other things he does, right? But his damage is quite good for how much he heals, for, you know, how easy it is to get the revival skill. So... I don't really have any complaints about the damage. Obviously, he doesn't hit as hard as LR Final Form Cooler, but I don't think anybody expected that. And it's kind of a give and take, right? You can't have everything. So you can't have like a ton of damage, but also have like amazing defense and also have all the healing and also have all the other stuff that comes with it. So I think he's built just fine. I don't think he's the best unit in the game. I was kind of hoping that maybe he would be the best unit in the game before his details came out. But when I saw his details, I was like, this is a good unit. It's a very good unit. But in my mind, I already knew he wasn't going to be, like, the best unit, right? So, yeah, overall, a really, really good unit. Do I think he's as good as um, LR Bird Coup, for example? Honestly, not quite. Not quite. I think Bird Coup hasn't beat, um, maybe not by, like, a lot. But I definitely would prefer Bird Coup over the uh, Metal Cooler, at least right now. Because it's still early, maybe I still need to test him some more before I like form a full opinion. <laughs> oh my god. See, this is with Wheeze active. With Wheeze active. And we're still taking that much damage from a super attack. Um, what was I saying again? I forgot. Uh, the point is, the point is, very good unit. I really like this unit, but I do feel like Bird Coup is better. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. Do you think that he is better than one or both of the Part 1 LRs? Do you think that both Part 1 LRs are better than him? Where would you rank him in your top 10 LRs or just top 10 units in the game right now? And uh, just overall thoughts, overall thoughts. Feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. That is the showcase. Obviously, it did not take us 27 minutes. I was doing some other stuff before I started filming. But uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this unit. I definitely want more dupes. Obviously, having the more dupes will also make him even tankier and boost his damage. But 
Yeah, even at 55%, he can do quite well. He definitely needs more defense, I feel like, in his hidden potential. So, if we're giving him skill orbs, I recommend defense skill orbs and also maybe additional skill orbs for that chance for the second super. After he supers, he gets way, way, way more tanky. So, I definitely think he's a better slot 2 unit. I think, I think he's meant to be a slot 2 unit. At first, I thought slot 1 made more sense for him. You know, but after some testing, I think slot 2 is definitely the safer move, unless you're on like an easier event where you're not taking that much damage anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But for harder events like Extreme to Battle Road, or at the end of GT Legendary Goku event, or um, Red Zone, some of the later Red Zone stages, I would definitely put him in slot 2 as opposed to slot 1. That's just my opinion, that's just my feelings right now. We'll see how that changes over the next couple of days, couple of weeks, when I use him more. But right now, great unit, not the best, but very, very good. Okay, so that is the showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.